Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I've decided to modify the kitchen unit and hopefully get the gas stove inside it somehow. Um, at the moment I keep my gas stove inside this little cupboard inside this box but the problem is if I leave it in there when I put it into bed mode I can't make a cup of tea in the morning so it traps the stove in there. So hopefully I can get this stove and somehow get it inside the unit on what I'm hoping on some kind of sliding mechanism. Um, and I think that'll be fantastic. And I can also take it out of there, put it on the worktop or take it outside as well. So it's not gonna be permanently in there, but it will, it will live inside this little pull out drawer. So my idea is to cut down the unit sort of roughly about here. So this is all gonna be a bit sort of guesswork and just see how it goes. Um, and that's where it's gonna be. So it's gonna be like a drawer front on it. I'm gonna slide it out with that. And um, the cupboard down below for the food is gonna be even bigger because it, it was a tiny cupboard before. So. I think we should get to it and start taking this to pieces. So I have just undone those screws on the top parts and I'm going to leave these brackets on here so they don't get disturbed. You can see my power socket there now. So as you can see that's where all the wires are at the back. I've just got to disconnect things and start pulling it all out and hopefully and get it all working again let's put it back together i have to relocate that um power socket that's fine it's not a problem so i've unscrewed all the little um brackets that are holding on the, the work top there's one there's one just round the back as well oh no kettle oh, what the heck oh uh, we've just poured kettle water absolutely everywhere let's take the tabletop off and see what's inside Okay, so I've just disconnected the uh, the pipe that goes to the tap. And... Okay, so I need to need to feed the other the wastewater pipe out a bit more now. And this is the uh, the grey water. As you can see, it goes down here, and there's actually a series of little plugs you can take out and get the uh, the tube to the outside wheel. So I'm just going to pull it back out. Well, that, that clip is actually broken. I need to replace that. So there's my bowl. See, it's all quite tight in there. It's not much space for this idea, so I'm going to now see if it'll actually work. fridge is out. God, it looks totally weird without a fridge. So you can see how I've got a little gap there so all the wires can come in underneath. Oh, bright sunshine earlier. But now look at it. Look at the mess I'm making. Anyway, I'm gonna do this in the garage, hopefully. So I've um, <laughs> so I'm in the dry because I can't do it in here. Right then, let's carry on. So the unit's all disconnected now. Cool. I think there's plenty of room going inside there. This side though, I mean, I just wonder if it's going to stick out quite far. I need to start to mock this up and see how far this goes, really. I might have to move the whole unit over just a, a little bit as well when I put it back in the van. I'm going to take a nice big slice all the way out of here to accommodate this. Just going up to there. Yeah, just relocate the shelf and start building this out and just hopefully it all fits in. I've just marked out 
the cut that I think I need to do. And we're talking roughly there. now all flappy well, i've committed now <laughs> right i'm just gonna cut the side bit now okay so i've just cut a slice to go in there kind of fit in there I've, just got, I've got to build up the end here but it does fit in and I'll tell you what the cupboard size is going to be great I'm going to take that shelf out next and then um yeah that cupboard's going to be huge isn't it I might just whether I have a mid-level shelf I don't know and I have two lots that's more space than I had before very happy with that I am going to have to shift the whole unit over into the van just a little bit it's probably a couple of centimeters out but it doesn't matter okay so I've been to the shop new sliders so these are going to be better than these ones because these are triple extender ones so these are a bit shorter so they're going to fit in the actual cabinet better so and they're going to give me a little bit more um, reach when they come out so yeah they're definitely going to be longer when they extend Perfect. Right, I'm going to take this bit out again because I'm going to slightly change the way I've done it. Get that out. And I think I'm going to cut all the way along this time. I'm going to make a whole box that comes out this time. So now I've got a much shorter piece now. <laughs> so I'm going to build a box out here now, all the way at full length now. So I've cut a big notch out. I'm going to cut this out a bit as well, just to allow pipes a bit easier to get through. Okay, so I have this bit now screwed in, as you can see. Now these are really long sliders, these ones that come quite far out. Got a nice little latch on them. I'm really far out now, so that's really good. Cool. So I've now got a side piece and a top piece. So I've cut the top piece out. There's a big notch, that's for the uh, for the pump to go through. That's going to go on there. That's going to go on there and that's going to form the box for it all. So it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to screw these bits together. So I have a piece of wood, now this might only be temporary, I don't know, but I'm going to go for this. Um, it's got a hole in it, so I'm just going to pretend that's supposed to be there. But I'm going to cut this shape out so you'll be able to access the controls, because this is going to be attached to the front and that's going to come out with it. Um, hopefully that works. We'll see, bit of an experiment. some holes and this is going to go directly into the into the side there and that's a pretty tough 
side, that will hold it so it won't go that way. And I'm just going to screw all of the brackets down now. And I've just got to take a bit off here because it has inset it now a little bit. I thought this might happen, so only a couple of centimetres. Cut the bottom bit. Yeah, I've got like a little gap there now, but it doesn't matter. Um, so it's got a nice bigger gap here, which is going to work out well for the table. Okay, so I've come up with an idea. Something occurred to me. I've got this kind of situation. I really don't like how this looks. It's great. It does clear this um, thing and everything, but the uh, the bar. But what I don't like is this. It just I just don't like the look of it. So I realised this. Now I've got these big extenders. Um, what I can do is I can rotate this round. I can have it this way. That's what we're going to do. We can have it this way around because it's quite easy to get in and operate the controls this way. Or you could literally lift it up and turn the whole thing round. You can have it whichever way you want, really. So. Yeah, I can just fill in this hole then and um, just have a little cut out there. I'm going to set about doing that and creating a new draw front. And um, yeah, so I'll do that today. Right, let's get on with that. So as you can see, I've actually replaced the entire front panel so I don't have the horrible hole and then this great big cut out bit. The only thing I needed to do was just cut out this little tiny hole here to make it run along the bar here. So that's all I needed to do. Um, it's not the correct wood. I know it's a silver panel. It's kind of the same wood that was the old um, wood that I'd, I'd used before on the footstool and it was the older uh, conversion, but it's only wood I've got at the moment. So I will replace this bit again and I'll put it into the, uh, I'll put some proper vinyl and some trim around it. But for now it's perfectly functional. It works really well. easy to lift it out as you can see there's like a little bracket there holding it in so you can take it out put it where you like but it's pretty simple that's all you need to do so I have nearly finished the uh, the pull out drawer it's a uh, it's basically done it's as much as I'm going to do to it, I think at the moment until I've ordered some of the vinyl but yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I've already used it a couple of times on a camping trips. Um, then it's worked out fantastic. I've been able to um, put the bed down and it fits over the top of the bed, which is always amazing, um, which was the main goal for this. Not just not just for cooking whilst people are in bed. That's not really the main issue because you can, when you're traveling, you can just pull that thing out. It'd be fantastic. I think it's going to be a great addition. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.